Hello and welcome to another player review. So we already have uh, had a look at the one of the most expensive players from this team too that has some amazing uh, selections in, which was uh, Di Maria. And now we'll go to, I think it's probably going to be the cheapest player in this uh, team too, which is going to be this uh, Eggstein, um, Maximilian Eggstein from uh, Werder Bremen. Um, another card with uh, 80 and above uh, stats, a well-rounded card, part of the uh, Hula Gang, uh, but there are so many cards right now. Uh, it looks like, like I said, a really well-rounded uh, card on this uh, face stats, uh, but uh, there are some uh, issues here and there as you go into more details. Uh, but this card is very cheap. He's, uh, I just bought him at 130. Um, I don't think uh, that this is uh, a price for him to be bought. Although it looks like he's worth more, I believe his price is gonna fall way below the 100k mark very soon and probably go somewhere for 80 to 90k or something like that. So let's have a look at this guy. Uh, 181, so he's uh, 5'11, um, very, high, very tall. High, high work rates, which is really nice for a CM, a box to box mid, maybe a CDM, something like that. I will play him in. He has, um, uh, his base card is a 80 rated card, I believe, a common card, not a rare. So he gets uh, six ratings, he gets about 50 at base stats and about 230, 240 in-game stats. So it's a big boost. Uh, the other big boost with this card is going to be his skill moves, which is three stars on his base card and he goes to five star. Pair that with his four star weak foot. Uh, it looks like a fantastic card uh, on this, uh, like I said, on the face stats. It looks amazing. So if we check out the details, we see overall pace 82 with uh, 75 acceleration and 86 sprint speed. So this right away is going to be a problem. Um, very, very big differential with acceleration trailing behind at 11 points, uh, which is not ideal. You always want the acceleration to be slightly ahead of the sprint speed because it, the acceleration is the one that kicks in right away and uh, uh, gives him uh, his top speed as soon as possible. So. Um, this means that he needs some space in order to get that uh, top speed. Um, shooting is overall 80, uh, nothing too great here. Attack positioning is right at 80, low finishing, but good shot power and good long shot. So uh, those are two good stats, but if you pair it with the finishing, I don't know how many shots he can get in. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, test that in game. Passing overall 84, uh, good passing. Uh, again, in the key areas that matter is gonna be the vision. It uh, goes to 91 with the engine that we applied. Uh, short pass is 90 and long pass is 87. We boost that to the 95, 97 area. Only curve is going to be a bit low, but not that low. I think 71 is going to be on the okay side. Uh, dribbling is uh, the highest stat at 86 with agility 82. Uh, a bit low. Uh, balance is even low at 74, but we get plus 10 with the engine, so it goes to 84. Reaction ball control. Dribbling and composure are all good stats, especially for his height. Um, defending over 84, interception is 81. Uh, not the greatest if you want to play him as a CDM. Defensive awareness 85. Uh, again, not the best. Uh, standing tackle is good at 88 and very low slide tackle. Um, it's something that I don't give too much importance in because I don't use uh, the sliding tackle that much. Uh, physical over 84 with jumping 57. I mean, it doesn't make that much sense. He's tall. He's like 5'11". He has good heading accuracy at 75, but he can't jump. I don't know how that equates, but anyways, stamina is 99. So that's an amazing stat right there. It means you can run this guy uh, all around the field for 90 minutes. Uh, good strength and all right aggression. So like I said, all in all, he has good stats, uh, but there are uh, one or two troubling stats in some areas that uh, I kind of don't know what to put him on a chem style or you don't know where to play him. So the acceleration is low, the finishing is low and um, uh, balance is a bit low and his defending stats is not the greatest to be played as a CDM. So with that in mind, that's why I applied the engine. The first uh, position that I probably want to try him in is going to be um, a CM, um, a proper CM. And then for his next game, we'll probably switch the chem style, uh, play him with a shadow uh, that will fix that uh, differential in the acceleration and sprint speed, up the defending and probably play him as a uh, uh, main CDM. So with that in mind, let's go into a couple of games of foot champions and test this card out.
All right, so here we go with our first uh, opponent, our first game. A nice Prem team with some really nice players in there. This was the Sun uh, nominee, team of the year, Salah and uh, Philippe Anderson. So we're gonna go for the first game in the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, and we're gonna play Eggstein at first birthday in the right CM position with no instructions, so everything is gonna be on default. Sealed, nice, Simon, chip. Here we go, one nil. Go, nice steal though. Good pass. Here we go. Simon, great pass there. No. Yes, what a great goal by Simon. Two nil. Nice. nice. Short there. Good shoot. Ah, good shot. But the finishing is not there. Here we go, Stein. Run. Nice. Good. Again. The dribble shoot. Ah, terrible finishing. Big sign. Oh, good composure there to hold the ball. Ozel shoot. And we score with an assist by Eggstein, I believe. By Paris. There's Eggstein. Nice dribble. Oh, good, good steal. Shrink there to fight through it. Again. Nice dribbles, good pass. Shoot, shoot. Where are you going? Come on, why are you running? Nice dribbles. His finishing is horrible. Ah, oh, come on. Go, shoot. Come on. Why? Do by Rooney go? Pass. Shoot. There's the finishing by Bellarabi. Or two. But again, Rooney. There it is. Finish now? Yes, now he finishes. All right, first goal, 5-2. There, there it is. Nice. Shoot. There's another good finishing. 6-2. Give him a pass, maybe he goes for the hat trick. Yes, shoot. No. Anyways, we get the, the win, a uh, good game, good performance by Eggstein, uh, Eggstein or some, I don't know, I probably am uh, killing his name. Um, what do you have, 9.1 for him in the first game, two goals, he actually scored the last two goals. Uh, the first few attempts that we have with him were very poor in finishing, but the last two uh, were quite good. Um, one assist as well, seven to nine shots. I don't know, I'm, I wasn't kind of pushing him to get in those positions, but with his high high, he does push up um, in that CM role. So that's why we took so many shots with him. Uh, 13 on 15 passes, 23 on 35 dribbles, uh, no crosses, two on six tackles. Um, good tackling uh, and good strength, but for some reason, a few of the tackles that he was doing, he wasn't walking away with the ball afterwards. So uh, good first performance. Uh, let's go into another game. All right, so here we go with our second opponent. A very, very good team. Two good first birthdays there. Very similar, Bellarabi and Steven Bergwin. Um, good defense, except that Trent, uh, player of the month, I don't think that's a good right back. Anyways, uh, we're going to go again in the same formation, 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. We're going to play foot birthday egg sign in the right CM role. Uh, but this time, I applied a Deadeye instead of the Sniper to see if we can up that shooting, uh, since he was getting a lot of, in a lot of uh, attacking positions, uh, if we can score more go goals with him uh, while upping the finishing. There he is, already high up. We don't have the speed now, but we do have the finishing. No, we don't. Again, 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 again. Nice shoot, Gerard. Good goal. Good passing. Amen. Pass. Yeah. Shoot. Oh. 
you kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> nice deal here by XN. Shoot. What the hell? Yes, Horace, it's nice. Nice header. Again? Ozo? Again? Nice. No finishing again. Should have chipped that. Good passing. Alright, I'll be shoot. There we go. 3 1. Nice. Tripling. Yeah. Nice speed there. Ah, shouldn't have shot there. There it is. Finish. Finish. There we go. Nice. 4 1. Anyways, but we win the game uh, with some good contributions from uh, from him. 4-1, um, like I said, we played the same thing, the same position, 9.2 now. The only difference is in this game we had the Deadeye Kemp style. Uh, so he has one goal and no assists. Uh, 4 and 5 shots, 14 or 15 passes, 14 and 20 dribbles. Uh, full cross, 2 full tackles. And no stamina issues, obviously. Another good game by him. So... Um, Gonna switch him up again and switch the chem style and play him in a different position. All right, so here we go with another team, a new opponent, a very nice team full of special cards, except that uh, Messi and Griezmann. Nice Bundesliga team with a little bit of a hybrid. So this game we're gonna go again in the full one to one to narrow, but this time we'll play for the birthday Eggerstein in the uh, CDM position. Uh, we'll stay back while attacking instructions, and we have changed this chem style to a shadow. Oof, what a goal. What kind of header was that? Nice, steel legs. I'm so high. Why? So high. Oh, no. What? Come on, game. Good. Yes, there we go. There's a goal back by Perez. Good goal. Nice. Good. There it is again. What a ball. Shoot. Nice. There we go. Simon. 3-2. So I kind of don't like him in that uh, position because of his high high. Even with stay back, uh, he's still pushing up way too high. So I'm going to put him in the uh, right CM role as we played him before. But we'll see if uh, the shadow makes any difference in this position. There he is now. There he is, that's where I want to see him. Good pass there. No, Rooney, terrible control. Oh my god, why are you giving the ball back? What the hell, game? Come on. Shoot. Yes, Ozo. Yes. There it is. Good dribbling. Nice. Shoot. Finish. Yes, excellent dribbling by Eckstein. There we go. Another good game with Eckstein. Um, not the first half though. Uh, I didn't like him as a CDM at all. Just pushing up way too high as you see. I swapped him to the right CM spot again, but with a shadow camp style. So he was uh, obviously very fast. Uh, didn't notice any other differences from the engine camp style uh, we had there. Uh, he, I think he had 7.5 at halftime, so obviously he wasn't playing that great in the CDM role. So we get one goal here, no assist, two and two shots, 14 and 15 passes, 16 and 20 dribbles, and two and three tackles one. So uh, another good game by Eggestein. Um Not that bad, actually. So let's go back and have a look at this card. So we have uh, Foot Birthday Maximilian Eggestein, Eggestein uh, something like that. Uh, we had three goals, four, uh, three games, four goals, one assist, all as a right CM uh, in a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow with no instructions. Um, we played the engine, we played the dead eye, and we played the shadow in this last game. As you can see, the stats we get plus 15 and acceleration to 90 and 96 sprint speed. Uh, is it interceptions to 91? Defensive awareness 95, very nice, and stand attack 93. So, uh, very nice with the shadow. But um, not as a main CDM. I didn't like him at all, even for 45 minutes. I don't think I want to try him again in that spot, which is going to be, as you can see, this is how we started. So I have stayed back while attacking, everything on default. He was pushing up way too high. 
um, and I didn't like that at all. Or he was marking too high, something like that. So it was very exposed. I was very exposed there. So in the second half, I swapped uh, Perez in the CBM spot for um, Eggerstein in the right CM. And again, he performed really, really well. So I think his position is a pure box-to-box uh, -box CM, uh, one that will attack and defend. You will leave it on your uh, leave him on his default instructions, which are high high. Thing that kind of amazed me was how good his dribbling is, uh, and it doesn't look like that on paper. But he has very nice dribbling. Uh, he's very good on holding the ball. His composure is 84, but he was very good, and that was probably because of his uh, body type. He, he's not that tall, but he looks really huge in game uh, and good strength. It helps him keep the ball. So um, I really like his dribbling. Uh, his shooting is not that great with the engine, not really good, although we scored a couple of goals, uh, we did miss quite a lot. With a Deadeye, we didn't get to take that many uh, shots to see if that plus 15 in finishing will help, um, but we did score a couple more goals there. And uh, with uh, the Shadow, obviously we don't get any improvements there, but uh, we got into a shooting position once and he scored, so that was good. Uh, out of all the camp styles, I will probably go with either the engine or the shadow, but I really like the speed with the shadow, so I would probably go with the shadow and play him in a CM spot. So if you need a good CM and very cheap, uh, I will grab this card for under 100k, under 90k actually, I would think this card is a very good uh, right CM or left CM if you want to play him, but I would only play him in a CM or in a secondary CDM uh, position with no instructions. Uh, and a card that you need someone to attack and also track back and defend a bit and assist in defense. Um, I think this is a good card to get for, like I said, under 90k. Um, I believe this card is worth it. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.